the high level of predictability and the success of current implant service have been the result of evolution of many techniques that promote osteointegration. Ozone therapy has been successfully used in medicine in 1933 as a modern development application for, for treatment of wounds and other infections due to, due to its bactericidal, fungicidal, and virostatic effects, which are based on its control oxidative stress with its direct destruction of almost all microorganisms. Medical ozone is a triatomic form of oxygen. It is prepared from pure oxygen using ozone generators. Ozone was first used in dentistry in 1950 by then German dentist Edward Fish for the treatment of infected wounds, cavities, and chronic periodontal diseases. In dentistry, Ozone therapy used as a gaseous aqueous form or as ozonized oil. It has different modalities, which includes denture disinfection, treatment of curious lesions, and disinfection of root canals. It shows a very good effect in some pathologies, such as lip herbs. Ozone is also applied in disinfection of wounds improving local circulation and promoting healing. Accordingly, with all the reported benefits of ozone, the use of ozone in implant surgery seems to be promising, which is the stimulus for the present study. Now, the aim of my study. The present study was designed to evaluate the effect of ozone on first, Tissue surrounding implant supported mandibular overdentures, both clinically and radiographically. Second, the ostentegration following placement of endosseous dental implant in experimental animals, both histological and histomorphometrically. Now, I will discuss material and methods. First, implant selection. Endure IM Tech implant system, which consists of implant fixture, implant kit, and implant and prosthetic kit. Longevity XZ120 ozone generator was used in this study. The study was done in two sections clinical study and experimental study. In clinical study, eight systematically healthy, completely edentulous male patients were selected. They age from 40 to 60 years. Each patient received mandibular implant over denture supported by two implants in the canine area. Surgical phase. According to split mouse design, each patient was a member of both the control group and the study group. In control group, implant in the right canine region, which is inserted by the conventional methods. In test group, implant in the left canine region where ozone therapy was applied during the osteotomy procedure. First surgical phase, the implants were inserted in the right canine region by perfusing irrigation with saline applied during the osteotomy procedure. In the left canine region, perfuse irrigation with ozonized water, 25 microgram per milliliter, was applied during the osteotomy procedure. Ozone gas of 60 microgram per milliliter concentration was applied topically by using 50 milliliter syringe before the insertion of the implant. The gas was delivered slowly for one minute under high suction. This figure shows right and left implant fixtures in place with their cover screws. Second, 
surgical phase. After three months, the implants were uncovered and connected with ball abutments, as shown in the first figure. Metal housing and o-ring attached to the fitting surface of the In the clinical evaluation consists of black index, gingival index, pre-implant probing depth, and implant mobility. Radiographic evaluation was performed for the assessment of pre-implant marginal bone height, pre-implant bone density using RVG. MHJ software was used for measuring pre-implant marginal bone height and, and measuring bone density. In experimental study, second section of this study, Eight New Zealand white mature male rabbits weighing three to three and a half kilogram were used. Surgical phase. Each rabbit was a member of both control group and study group using implant system of 3.5 millimeter diameter and 8 millimeter lens. In control group, implant in the right tibia inserted by the conventional method. In test group, implant in the left tibia where ozone therapy was applied during the osteotomy procedure. A gentle and sterile surgical technique was used and replicating as possible the procedures used for human implant placement. This figure shows seated implant in the tibia. After two, four, six and eight weeks from the time of surgery, two rabbits were ossonized. The right and left TB of each rabbit were dissected, sectioned, prepared and stained with HNDE and trichrome stain for histological study. Histomorphometric analysis. It was performed to measure the length of bone tags in control and test groups in four, six, and eight weeks during st using stereo microscope. The results were tabulated and statistically analyzed. Now we are going with clinical results. This graph shows no significant difference was existed between the two groups as regards black index, gingival index, and pre-implant propping depths, as well as there was absence of implant mobility during the evaluation period. Radiographic results. Comparison between the mean of marginal bone height around the implants of two groups. This graph shows there is decrease in both groups during evaluation period. But test group is higher significant than the control group. In comparison between the mean of bone density around the implants of the two groups, there, there is increase in both groups during evaluation period. And test group shows high significant difference than the control group. Histological results. Two weeks after implant insertion, this photo micrographs clarify space of implants surrounded by mild proliferation of blood vessels and fibrous tissues of bone of the tibia in control group. In test group, 
proliferation of granulation tissue with numerous blood capillaries. Four weeks after implant insertion, these photomicrographs of pre-implant interfacials in control group, osteoid tissues with no evidence of woven bone. In test group, the osteoid tissues transferred into woven bone. Six weeks after implant insertion, this photomicrograph or pre-implant interface shows woven bone in control group and the formation of laminated bone in the form of primary stone in the test group. At the end of this study period, eight weeks, both groups achieved successively tissue integration. What are the different, what is the difference between them? It shows that in control group, implant interface bone with short round tags of mature bone, not the primary osteon. What about the test group? Test group shows implant interface bone with long taper tags. Not mature bone with primary, secondary osteon, and interstitial bone. Finally, histomorphometric results. In comparison between the mean of the bone tags length per micrometer of the two groups, this shows that this figure shows that increase in both groups during evaluation period. But test group is highly significant different than the control group. Conclusion and recommendations. From the present study, we can, we can conclude that ozone therapy accelerating the biological process of formation and maturation of the tissues related to the implants, reducing the healing time, and thus accelerating implant loading which is the actual promising approach for both patients and the clinicians. So we can recommend it, the addition of ozone therapy to the dental implants protocol. Thank you.